Good morning, everybody. It's Monday, the 4th of September. Kids' first day at their new school. Um, so I found out yesterday the kids only go for an hour on the first day of school. They have to wear smart clothes on the first day of school and thereafter then they wear what they want. Oliver goes today at 8 o'clock and he's going into year one, despite the fact he's seven and in England he's already been at school for two years. In Poland they start school at seven, so he's going into to year one. So he will go into year five. Um, year five? Is that right? Year five. Um, but they both go for an hour, so Ollie goes at eight, Sophie goes at ten. So Olive's ready to go, Sophie's getting ready and she's going to be going a bit later and we'll be going into school with Oliver. So uh, we'll talk to him quickly now and then see how he feels later on at the end of the week, maybe after his first weeks. Hi Ollie. Hi. How are you feeling? Nervous but mostly excited. Nervous but mostly excited. And what are you looking forward to today? Meeting new people, maybe? Making friends. Making friends. If I do. Well, I've got, um, how many years? It's 18 and yeah. 7. So how many years is that? 11? 11 years. 11 years. Yeah. So you've got a long time at school here, yeah. if we stay. But you're excited, but a little bit nervous, yeah? Yeah. Cool. All right. We'll catch up with Ollie later on. Okay, so we are back from taking Oliver for his first class hour at school. He did okay. Understood quite a lot. Now it's Sophie's turn. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling, Soph? Uh, excited. Excited about what? Um, to go to a new school because I've always been at the same school, and mm. that way it will be fun to see how they learn differently to my own school. Cool. All right, see how Sophie gets on. Hi, it is Monday, 4th of September, 10.15 in the morning. Me and my wife have been with Oliver to the school. So today at 8am he had a, like an hour's introduction, like an assembly in the main school hall, then taken off to the class where the parents stayed. Uh, met the teachers, what they were going to do, talked about after school activities, etc, etc, introduced themselves. Um, and now Sophie's gone off with her mum, with my wife Kinga, um, for hers introduction. But as she's like year five, she's almost 11, she will be in two days time. She didn't want both parents hanging around, she's too cool I think. So uh, she's gone off with my wife on her own, whereas this morning we both went with Oliver because he's going into what is year one, despite the fact he's been at school for two years in England. Anyway, the point of the video diary is to log um, our emotions and feelings just to show anyone else that's thinking of doing a similar thing, moving to another country, commuting, whatever, how we feel about certain things. And I want to point out this morning, it was the first time since we moved here where I questioned myself for about 10 seconds, have I done the right thing? And that happened when the assembly finished, the teacher took the line of kids to the classroom, Oliver was at the front, she held his hand and he looked at me with those puppy eyes and oh my god I wanted to cry. And I questioned what we'd done and I thought to myself, shit, what we've we done to our kids, we've taken them out of a school that they were doing well at, you know, excelling at, in, and dumped them in a school here where they maybe feel, we feel like they're starting from the ground up again, but that lasted about 10 seconds and then the teacher reassured us that, you know, they've had children from the USA, children from Ukraine, people that start at school that don't speak a word of Polish and, you know, within a few months they're fluent, speaking well, um, and they settled in. So he already made a friend this morning, he met a little boy called Timek, um, so it seems that he's sort of, you know, feeling okay about it. But I just wanted to make that point that for the first time since we arrived here, I did question the decision that we'd made. Um, but you know, I think both kids, we talked to them constantly about it, both kids and my wife and I, and our family at home, people that we've left back in England, understand that for the long run, this is the best thing, or at the moment we think it's the best thing, might change, but you know, for the, me, the thought of by Christmas time, my son can speak two languages to a very good level, read, write in two languages, for me, that's, that's the objective and that's the um, kind of driving force but yeah just wanted to make the point that yeah it's not all glorious it's not all oh everything's brilliant we've moved to another country and we feel great and that's crap I felt like shit for 10 seconds this morning and felt guilty um, 
but then he came home, he was happy. So we'll see how Sophie is when she gets home. Uh, keep watching the videos, please, if you're interested. Uh, hopefully you are. Uh, speak soon. Cheers. Hi, everyone. Really quickly, because I've made loads of little short videos today. Spoke about Oliver starting, spoke about Sophie starting school, how they felt. Spoke about Oliver's first morning. Didn't speak about Sophie. So she went without me. She went with my wife. She came in the door, I don't know, four past 11 this morning. How'd it go, darling? Yak door. And she said, it was amazing. It was amazing. I made three friends straight away. This girl came to me and asked me to come and sit next to her. And I went and I sat next to her. And then I met my friend, Olivia. And then I met my friend, uh, someone else. I can't remember her name. And I can't wait for tomorrow. So now she's packed all her bags um, for school tomorrow. She is over the moon and so excited. Um, and then speaking to Ollie again, he's excited about tomorrow as well. Despite the fact that he made you want to cry this morning. That's it. No more videos today about the kids' first days. Um, it's been quite a success, I think, uh, despite how I felt this morning. Um, brilliant. Night.